Hi, Dr. Pelto here. Uh, I want to share on a test patient uh, something that helps uh, with seeing uh, preoperative visits. So in our office, we tend to do a lot of uh, a preoperative discussion within 30 days of the surgery. This is a test patient. But what I want to specifically show you today is a way that you can send in the medications prior. So um, what I have here is, let's say they're being seen for Halix rigidus, and I, I can add an order, and I have something called uh, sur uh, like a surgical uh, set of medications, okay? Um, So here they are, they're called surgery medications. And this is an order set that you can make within Athena. Um, I can show you how to do that afterwards, but the more important part is how to use it. So what it does is it pops in the five most common medications that I use, ibuprofen, Vicodin, Visteril, Lovenox, Percocet. So let's say for this patient, I'm gonna give them ibuprofen. If I don't want Vicodin, I can delete it. I'm going to give them the Vistaril for any nausea. I'm not going to give them Lovenox, and I'm going to give them Percocet. So it actually auto-populates how many they need that I typically give. It auto-populates their pharmacy. Now, this is the part that I want to show you, is when you open it, let's say my surgery is in the future. What I can do is I can click the Send button, and let's say it is next month on a Wednesday. I can actually send it to their pharmacy next month on a Wednesday, okay? So uh, February, March, let's say April. It'll send it that day prior to their pharmacy. Another option is you can change this pharmacy here and you can put it in the hospital pharmacy if they want to pick it up on that day at that location. So that's how you do a pre-surgical um, sending out the medication. So I don't have to send them the day of surgery, but I would, uh, it sends them automatically. If the surgery is canceled, that's always a concern. If the surgery is canceled, they still go there. So you'll need to delete them if someone does, the, uh, does that. Now, another option is you could do it the same day. You can log in the same day at the hospital. You can send them over right then uh, to do it electronically versus doing paper scripts. So those are called a, a surgery. Uh, those are the surgery ones. Uh, let me just show you here, for those that aren't familiar with how to do these order sets, if you go down here and you go into order sets, order sets are all the different types of uh, orders that I do here. And uh, you can search and filter the surgical medications. So basically, I can show you what it looks like if you hit update. You can make a new one this way. So uh, I, I do not choose a diagnosis for this order set. And I put in those uh, orders and I put in those medications. The way you do that is you select medication, you select which medication, you just add it. So if I wanted to include Bactrim, it actually includes Bactrim on there. Uh, and then I can put any uh, information in terms of that. It'll automatically pull into the pharmacy. Okay, so that's how you do the order set. I don't do it based on diagnosis because there are a lot of different surgical cases that I use this for and not just this one. So hope you found that helpful on how to send medications prior to surgery.